Ahoy, salty dogs! My name is Lens Cap, and welcome to the moon! <laughs> uh, today we're playing Stationeers. I've been streaming this game over on Twitch for a couple days now, and I'm really, really into it. So I thought it'd be fun to, uh, to play, uh, to do a new world for YouTube as well, um, since there's a lot of overlap with some of the other kinds of games that I like to play. We've got a lot of space stuff going on in my channel, and I really like that. I want to keep that happening. So, let's play some Stationeers. So, this game is super technical, and, um, and, uh, and I really like that about it. Um, we're gonna start today. I'm hoping to get some automatic solar panels going on. I don't know if we'll make it that far today, but that's my goal, okay? Um, this game is super complicated, though, so I'm gonna go ahead and dive right in. Uh, the first thing I wanna do is get some iron frames out. Um, I'm gonna swap my medical pill to be in here. I have no idea what this medical pill does, by the way. If you know, tell me. Uh, I would love to know. Okay, so where... Let's look at this first. Where's the sun? There's the sun. And it rises over there and sets over there. So that way's east. So we want our solar panels to be able to capture as much sunlight as they can. Um, I'm going to put them right here. This seems like a good spot. So, I'm going to build my solar panels this way. I have not seen anybody else build their solar panels like this. Um, usually I see people put them, like, um, perpendicular to the direction of the sun. I'm putting mine parallel. Uh, in my testing on Twitch, it didn't seem like this has too much of a detriment uh, to do it this way. Alright, so we're going to do that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is just place down a bunch of these. This is going to be the floor of our base. Um, yeah, the floor of our base. Um, I'm gonna try to build mostly in the walls and in the ceiling, so the floor is gonna be relatively solid. We might lay a couple of things on the floor, but I'm hoping to not need to build in the floor. Um, and then we're actually gonna separate this completely. There'll be, like, maybe one cable that goes between here and here. Um, but yeah, for now, uh, we're just gonna put down as many of these iron frames as we can, as we care to, that's probably good. All right, so these iron frames, these are like our basic building blocks. Now, right now, I can actually fit inside these. They're they're hollow. Obviously, they're, they're literally just frames of what they are. Um, so we want to swap these out for some iron sheets, though. And now we can build these into something a little bit more substantial uh, so that we can place stuff on them. So if we hit 5, we pull out our tool belt, and we need to get out our welder. And we're going to weld these. Um, we're going to put these up one stage. So let's turn our welders on. There are three stages of construction of these, right? There's the frame, uh, and then there's like this frame, whatever this is, stage. And then there's the third stage, the tertiary stage, which we're going to do on the floors here, which fills in the floor block as well. So that kind of does this, right, and fills it in. You can walk on this. You can actually walk on the middle stage also, um, like this. You can walk on this too, but uh, it's not airtight, whereas this is airtight. And while we're not going to be necessarily putting atmosphere in right away, we probably will eventually. And we can also completely undo this really easily. All we got to do is grab our wrench, and uh, with our wrench we can... Uh, deconstruct and, and get our iron panels back. So I'm just going to build a little platform we're going to work off of for now. I'm not worried about walls just yet. Uh, we might put up one wall, um, actually, so that we can uh, attach some power conduits and stuff to it at first. Um, but that's not really a huge concern right off the start like this. All right, so that's probably big enough for now. Let's go ahead and finish these ones. Okay, we want to turn off our torch before we put it away. We don't want to be wasting its battery. It does run off a of battery, and uh, there is like a limited amount of fuel that it has as well. Um, the next thing we want is our solar panel. So let's go ahead and grab the solar panel, and we'll put that right up here. Um, I am going to turn on my jetpack for just a second so we can hop up here. Hopefully we don't have to hop up here a lot, uh, otherwise my jetpack is going to run dry pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to start with the solar panel in the middle, and uh, I'm going to rotate it so that I'm using this orientation. You can use the scroll wheel to change which solar panel you have. So there's this one, and then if I scroll, there's one with the data port and the power port on the right side. 
here. Um, I actually want them separated for now, so I'm going to place that down. Okay, we need to come back over here, and uh, we've got the solar panel placed, but it's not quite complete. We need to get some glass sheets. So let's grab this glass and finish building up our solar panel. Uh, we just click on it. All right, so now that's all built. Um, now I'm done with this glass. I'm actually just going to throw it on the ground for now, and hopefully we don't forget where we where we put that. Uh, the next thing I want to do is pull up my wrench tool, turn on my jetpack again to get back up here. And now we can adjust the solar panel. Fortunately, we don't have to twist it in any way, so that's good. I'm going to tilt it to about 20% uh, like this. And uh, that's mostly because I'm lazy and don't want to have to micromanage my solar panel. Like I said, um, we're going to do our best to automate this today. So that's going to be uh, that's going to be a thing. Uh, but for now, we'll at least gain power from the solar panel in the morning. Um, if we hop up here again, I can use my wrench, and we can see that it is currently generating zero watts. So it's not actually generating any power, but that's because it's not looking at the sun. Um, yeah, the visibility 100%, so it can see the sun, it's just not generating anything. Uh, that could be because it, it's not pointed at the sun, that could also be because it's not hooked up to anything. So let's hook it up to something. Uh, let's open this other construction supplies crate. And we want this sensor? No. We want the battery cell charger? No. Maybe it's in this first crate. Yeah, here it is. Here, let's, let's move this out of the way. I don't need the consumables just yet. Yeah, here we go. The power controller and a, and a large battery. So what we need to do here is put this power controller. This is kind of like a fuse box or like a circuit breaker um, kind of thing, kind of like that. All right, so we're actually going to put this, let's think, where do we want it? Right here is fine. We just want to make sure that it can pull power out of the solar panel, which it can. Um, we have an extra, which we're just going to throw on the ground over here. We don't need it just yet. Uh, let's grab our crowbar and pry this open now. Okay, and then we can switch hands and put our battery in it. I know I'm going quick, but this is a quick game. we got to go quick. Uh, we don't want to starve to death. All right, so let's close that. Uh, the next thing we want to do is pull out our bolt cutters, which is actually, they're actually cable snips. And we want to build a four-way corner. Yeah, that's what we want. Let's rotate this so it connects to both our solar panel and our APC. And uh, now that we've got it connected here, let's actually leave this open. Now that we've got it connected, we can see that there's this battery uh, is charged already, so maybe nothing has happened. Um, but the the reason we did the four-way corner is so we can expand this in the future. We can add more solar panels and connect them up. Um, this red cable, this is the level one cable. It'll support up to nine solar panels. So we shouldn't have any problem for quite some time with that. Perfect. So the next thing we need to do is build our first couple of machines here. Um, now, fortunately, we start with a few essentials. So we need the auto lathe and the arc furnace. So these are going to be our first uh, things we place down. I'm going to start with the arc furnace and put it down first. We're just going to put it right here. Um, I'm actually going to build it so that, yeah, right there, so it sticks kind of into the wall a little bit. Do we like that orientation? Maybe we change it. Nah, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, and then the auto lathe. Uh, we're going to put right next to the arc furnace. This one I don't want sticking into the wall, so it's going to go right about here. And uh, that's perfect. Um, now we need to wire these up to our power. Um, right now we can't really do anything because they don't have any power. Um, one thing I would recommend, by the way, that I did not do, you can turn off your flashlight during the day. Uh, I didn't do that, but it's fine. It's going to be fine. We're going to have plenty of power uh, soon enough. All right, so the first thing I want to build here is a junction. And let's rotate this. I still struggle getting things rotated sometimes. All right, so we've got a junction. The reason I want a junction there is so we can add our next piece of equipment, which is this battery charger. Um, excuse me, air scrubber. Which is this battery cell charger. So this is going to let us charge our batteries so we don't run out of juice. Um, and I'm just going to put that right here on the other side of this solar array. Come on. 
I can rotate every direction except the one I want. Okay, and we'll just put that right there. That's fine. Um, I'm not going to bother hooking this up to the data port. I only need um, power in this thing right now. We don't have enough batteries to merit hooking it up to the data port anyway. We do have a few secret batteries, though. So, uh, secret batteries in that they don't... They're not obvious. So this air scrubber has a small battery in it, and uh, we're not using the air scrubber, so we can take that out. Um, we can actually go ahead and grab our other battery as well. Let's put these cables in our tool belt. So the air scrubber has one, and then this air conditioner has one as well. And uh, we don't need those, uh, those devices, so we can take their batteries and use them for other things if, uh, if we need them for other things. Um, probably we're not going to use them, but better to have them and not need them, right? Right. Okay, so now let's grab our cabling. All right, and one corner. There we go. Perfect. So now our machines are wired up. Uh, you can actually wire through the ground, but I, I, uh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to be able to see my cable. So, uh, so I did that. Um, let's see. Let's make sure they turn on. Yeah, that turns on. That turns on. Cool. So we've got everything wired up. Uh, the next thing we need to do is get some resources. Uh, to be able to automate our solar panel, we need a few things. Um, we need to make in the auto lathe, we need a thing called an electronics printer. Okay, to make the electronics printer, that requires 20 grams of iron, 2 grams of gold, and 10 grams of copper. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to go, let's put my tools away real quick in the tool belt. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to pull out my mining belt out of my suit backpack. Just like that. I'm going to hold 5 to put it on. And then I'm going to put my tool belt away in my backpack. Okay, now I have mining tools. And I'm going to grab my drill. Um, mining in the night is kind of crappy, but I'm going to try... I'm going to look around and try and find some iron, some gold, and some copper. Um, let's see if we see anything real handy. Yeah, here's copper right here. So we need to turn on our drill. And we'll just dig until it tells us there's no more copper. Until it quits telling us there's copper here. And uh, so I'm going to repeat this. I need iron and gold and copper to create our next thing. So I'm going to get as much of that as I can carry. Man, there is copper all over the place here, but I'm really struggling to find gold anywhere. I found a little bit, though, so I think... I think we have enough? I can't remember how much gold I needed. Um, I only found three ores, though, so that may not be enough. Um, the the measurements are, are very interesting in this game uh, in that it's, it's stupid simple. Uh, three units of copper means three grams of copper means three ingots of copper, right? So that's really easy. Speaking of bars, speaking of bars of copper, I uh, I swung swung past my base and put some more copper, uh, put some copper at all in the smelter already. So we've got that going. Um, next, let's go ahead and throw this gold in here. I'm a little bit concerned it's not going to be enough. Um, we may have to go find some more gold. In fact, we definitely will. But let's double check. Um, we ended up with what three grams of gold, right? And how much did we need? We only needed two. Okay, so we can make do with what we have then. Um, we'll probably need some more gold to, for the next step, uh, but we can we can make do with what we've got. So we'll put the iron in the furnace and turn it on, and that'll smelt us up some iron ores. And, and then we can turn off our furnace, obviously. Now the furnace is releasing gases, which eventually we'll want to capture those and harness those gases so that we can breathe. But uh, right now, that's whatever, man. Once we've got this iron cooked up, um, I am going to craft a few things. I'm going to go ahead and get a storage locker. And we're also going to go ahead and make our next tool. Um, given that we're about to make a, a next, like the next crafting table, we may as well go ahead and switch belts to our tool belt and lay a little bit more cables. Just kind of use our time wisely here, you know. Um, so let's get ready for that. I think if we leave that much space, then we can put a junction here. And that'll power the next uh, table. Perfect timing. There's our iron ingots, but our, uh, our hands are full. So we need to put away these cables so we can pick up the iron ingots. 
The control scheme in this game is a little bit weird. Like, it definitely takes some getting used to. Alright, let's turn off the arc furnace, turn on the auto lathe, and build this electronics printer. Ah, there it is. Okay, the electronics printer is done. Let's go ahead and pick that up, and we're going to place it down just right here in the spot we have prepared. There we go, so we'll put it right there. Uh, we're still cooking up some copper in here. That's fine. Um, cool, so this is what we needed next, and with this we can print, like, circuitry and the electronics things. Uh, that makes sense. Okay, so let's turn on the auto lathe so we can pull this lever. That'll eject all the stuff that's in it. For now, um, we have to keep moving our equipment around like that. This copper is not quite done, so I'm just going to throw this iron on the ground um, so it's not in my hand. We've only got one gram of gold, so hopefully that's enough for what we need, but probably I'm going to have to go find some more. Um, okay, let's turn this on, and we need a few very specific pieces to get started here. The first thing we're going to need are these kit logic IOs, right? So we need two of these, and those require a gram of gold each. So we're definitely going to need some more gold. We can go ahead and print one, though. So let's go ahead and print the one. And then I guess uh, I'm going to do a little bit more mining. I'm going to have to search for some gold. All right, cool. So the gold, uh, we found some gold finally. Jeez, that was a pain, and uh, but we got the gold. Um, I went ahead and smelted it up into bars already, so now we can go ahead and make the next couple of things we need. All right, so we needed one more of these logic IOs. We needed two of these. Um, we need... Let's let this finish. Boom, there we go. Okay, so the next thing we need is a memory. So we'll print ourselves a memory. There it is. And the next thing we need is a math unit, or a logic processor, right? And then we're going to turn it into a math unit. So I can't carry all of these things at once. I only have two hands, so I can only carry two things at a time. Um, so, But we're going to take these two. Oh, there's one other thing we need, actually. Uh, but it's something that's provided to us, and that is in Construction Kit 2. It is a sensor. Righto, so let's grab the sensor. Um, if we look over here, we can see that our power is at yellow, so let's turn this off. Uh, now that we're not using them, let's make sure we're not wasting our power. Um, I did have to swap out my battery for something uh, in my... My life support battery was running low, so I had to swap it out for one of the small ones. Um, that's fine. Now, I don't think it actually matters where this light sensor is. Um, but we want to put it so that it can see the light. So we're going to put the daylight sensor... Let's actually build it right here. Uh, I am going to twist it so that it's facing this way. I think that'll be the easiest way um, to work with the circuitry we're about to write. Um, let's grab this math unit. Alright, so we need these four pieces, and then we're going to connect them to our solar panel. Uh, these are going to tell our solar panel to track the sun. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is build ourselves a logic reader. And this device will read the solar array, the solar, this, <laughs> sensor. Okay, that's going to tell, uh, that's going to let our sensor know basically like where the sun is. Uh, next we want a logic math. Okay, and then we want, uh, we probably put the memory next. So let's go pick that up. Uh, the memory is going to hold, all it's going to do is hold a number for us, uh, for the math to use. It's going to hold our variable. So you can kind of think of this as an X, as a variable, if you're thinking about math. And then the last thing we need is our logic reader. Uh, except we want to make this actually a batch writer, because it's going to write out to not just the solar panel, but to every solar Power panel. Low. Uh, so that all of our solar panels can, uh, yeah, perform properly. Um, our suit battery is low, because all we used was a small battery, Power. so Critical. we're going to swap it out for a full one, and then hopefully we can charge these tomorrow. Okay, one thing I'm going to do real quick, I'm actually going to split half my cables. Um, this is going to help me, like, decide which cables are which. I'm going to grab the blue spray paint, and I'm going to 
I'm going to spray these ones blue. And that'll spray the whole stack. You can spray each cable individually, but it uses the same amount of paint to, to spray the whole stack. And that's way easier. And then I'm going to use those for my data cables. Uh, I'm going to swap out these two batteries real quick because that one's pretty low. And turn this off uh, for now. I don't want to charge those up um, at the meantime. Okay, so let's go. Let's get these cables back in. All right, so I'm going to show you another trick real quick. Uh, I'm almost done wiring up all the circuitry, but I only have one cable left. Instead of placing that cable, I'm going to pick up this coil of cables. Boom, and now and now my entire, all of my cables are blue. Um, I, can, I can make them red again by just picking up that stack with a red cable in my hand. So it's not, uh, it's not that big of a deal that they're all blue now. All right, I also forgot to connect the solar panel to the grid. So <laughs> now that that's done, uh, we should be good to go. Let's put these tools away. Let's grab our screwdriver. Okay, so the solar array reader is going to read from the light sensor, from the daylight sensor. We want to tell it what variable to read. We're going to read solar angle. Now the math is going to take the solar array, array reader. It's going to divide by 1.8, uh, and that's going to help it get the proper angle. Um, this needs a percentage, and this is giving a degree. So we need to turn this degree into a percentage, and uh, to do that, you divide by 1.8. Um, if you're not sure of the math, you'll have to read about it. I don't... I'm sorry. Okay, so we need to set this to 1.8. We can't just name it 1.8. We also have to set the memory to that. Okay. So far, so good. Now the batch writer needs to take an input from the solar array math. Uh, we want to output to the daylight sensor. N no. To the solar panel. And we want to give it horizontal. Nope. We want to give it vertical uh, commands. Okay. Now we need to go adjust our solar panel because I, I did the wrong thing. So set this at zero, and then all we have to do is uh, when we add solar panels to this, we just have to connect them to this red line and connect them to this blue line, um, which should be a junction. So we'll fix that, but, uh, but that's it. Then we have automatic solar. Now this will track the sun um, automatically. It'll keep our batteries charged so we don't have to worry about that, and we're all Gucci. Guys, thank you so much for watching uh, the first episode here of Station Ears. If you want to see more of this show, uh, of this game, let me know in the comments. Leave a like on the video and let me know in the comments what you think. If you're a fan of this game, let me know. If I could have done things better, let me know about that too. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned.